Bonjour, um, um, je m'appelle Madame Afan. I am the head of languages at Aston Manor um, School. Um, and today I'm going to uh, present um, this short PowerPoint to help you decide if French or Spanish GCSE is good, um, a good option for you. So, why should you study GCSE French or Spanish? There are many reasons uh, okay, listed um, here below. So, um, number one, English is not enough. Okay, It's really important that you learn another language to be able to communicate with other people. Okay, With a language, you can travel. Uh, to new places or around the world, it is the perfect way to meet new people and discover new culture and increase your network and skills. Okay, speaking another language really makes you stand out from the crowd. It means you will be unique, completely different from other people. Okay, because really, when you think about it, at the end of year eleven. Everyone in the UK will have a GCSE, maths, English and science, but not everyone will have a GCSE in languages and that's on its own make you completely different from the others. Learning a, a foreign language can, can help you understand your own language and make it easy to learn others. You develop four key skills, which is the listening, the reading, the speaking and the writing. You will have fun learning about a wide range of topics from shopping to sport to food and entertainment. Speaking more than one language increase your brain capacity and you have better memory first. Uh, sorry, better memory too. Um, Learning a language improve, as I said, improve your memory um, skills. It helps you to solve problems. It gives you the ability to multitask as well, and it gives you better listening skills. And really, um, and all these are really valuable skills to have in any stage in your um, life. Um, Again, now some universities now require a language in uh, GCSE in languages for degree courses in English, in history and law. A GCSE in a language will help you get into university um, and you will need um, a GCSE in language to be awarded the English Baccalaureate, which is the EBAC. Okay. slide okay so um, what will you study uh, the five themes are listed here on the slide some of of the things include topics you have already uh, studies in your seven and your eight but you will be you will look at them in more depth obviously in year 9 10 and and 11 okay so some of them are new like for example if you look at theme 5 which is international and global uh, dimension the global dimension okay uh, so how are you assessed uh, there are four exams at the end of year 11 each exam uh, is worth 25% of your GCSE. You will, um, uh, we will do a lot of exam styles, obviously, um, uh, questions during the course of, uh, of, of the, uh, during the course to prepare you for your exam. And um, at some stage during your 11, we will decide uh, whether you will be entered for higher or foundation, okay? Um, so what is a typical lesson in, in, in French or Spanish? So really, to be honest with you, uh, it is very similar to what you've been having in your seven and eight, okay? 
but obviously um there's a lot a lot of of um of focus on uh vocabulary and grammar okay um uh, we use a lot of variety of activities of and again uh, games you will work independently at times but also you will be working in pairs and small uh groups okay um uh, the last um, slide is um, the the roots basically or what a language graduate at the end uh, of the graduation what are the roots that they can actually um, take or the jobs that they can actually um, go to okay so here is below is a list of jobs that you, that, that you can actually uh, do that involve a a, um, a language okay and um, so hopefully um, that's uh, that's all this slides gives you um, some information about what uh, studying GCSE French and Spanish will be like okay and I am going to um, um, really end my um, this little presentation by saying um, a language is a skill and not a subject okay so think ahead and think global merci beaucoup